Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0, the mod suite for the Realism Overhaul setup of mods for Kerbal Space Program. And last episode I told you we weren't going to the moon and I totally lied because it turned out that the burn window was like right on top of our orbital insertion. Uh, <laughs> we are nine minutes away from the node. Looking at a five minute burn time, which oh, I'm gonna, yeah, all right. <laughs> so we're just going to try to get it set up here. Sorry, it's not much to look at, but it literally was right after our launch window. We were launching, arcing into the night. So, oh, uh, no connection. Uh-oh. We might have to wait in orbit. When are we getting our connection back? There's our node. Those might be below the horizon. We're kind of in a dead zone currently, and most of these satellites we're running on batteries that are now completely depleted. We are within one minute. Oh, we have connection. I totally overdid it again. Ah, vapor feed lines. I just wasted an ignition. Good thing we'll only need one more, and we have three left. Very stable, risky, risky, very stable. Peg it. Light is good, and we are on our way. 3,100 meter per second burn. Oh, yeah, we got two grand here. We got 2,858 here. So we are looking pretty good. Especially since we are going to use all of our spare hydrazine here. To move us swiftly along to there, our beautiful moon. Yeah, we're deviating. Dang it. Come on, that's not cool. Uh oh, let's turn stability control on. Maybe that'll help things along just a little bit. All right, back on course. How much of this stuff we got? 16 liters of hydrazine. We can just go ahead and stand on this pedal. We were seeing a 0.33 drain in our batteries when we were in the sun. Now we're in the night side and we're seeing a 0.31 drain. I didn't think these engines had generators on them, but I could be wrong. This doesn't make me feel good either. My next stage not fuel. Did that fuel burn off? Alright, we're gonna leave the rest of that hydrazine for staying on target. Just in case. I'm quite concerned about the fuel levels. And it's all there. Okay. Try again to stay on target. Stuff just doesn't really burn off very fast, does it? Alright. That should be good. It would be nice if we could have all of our burns be during the day, but sadly they won't be, so we've got <laughs> a lot of nighttime shots here, unfortunately. Whoa. That was a bit excessive. Alright, we're coming up on SEP. Now we'll just go ahead and let that hydrazine burn out. There it is. Set, ignition, and we're off. Unlock those and turn on the RCS control thrusters. All right, thousand meters a second to go, and more than 2,700 in the tank. Huh. 
solid rocket booster may have been entirely unnecessary. I could probably start the descent at this stage. Oh, I should have put antennas on it. It would have made a neat little satellite. Except that those panels will not support the drain of that core. At all. And, yeah, I did put a lot of hydrazine in this, so we can just go ahead and try to dump some of it out. I'm sure we're going to have to make a correction burn, because I am never, never very accurate with any of these. wonder if I just sat on the pedal for these RCS thrusters the entire five minutes that engine was running if I would run through that much fuel. Well, they're supposed to be there for haulage and correction, because this stage <laughs> with the solid rocket motor needs this stage to orient it exactly before it fires. Exciting now. Three hundred meters per second to go. So yeah, I totally overshot that note, so undoubtedly going to need a correction. Seconds remaining. I mean, uh, get that finger ready. Four, three, two, one. Shut down. Nine point nine meters per second. Whoa! Oh, I'm in docking mode. Of course, I'm in docking mode. I'm always in docking mode. chasing it, and probably for nothing. Alright. 0.3 meters per second. Let's call it what it is and go take a look. Oh, we have an encounter. That's kind of amazing. Not a very good one. But it's something. Alright, so let's get in here a bit and give ourselves a node. Focus view. Oh wow, that is a horrible encounter. That's much. I kind of. I probably want to come in on the other side, just to make sure that I have a connection. Wow, that just misses, apparently. is happening. Okay, I went the wrong way with that. Sorry. Whoop. Wow, this is really tedious. 
All right, you know what? That's good enough. 53 meters per second. We're just going to go ahead and try to do this. Let's see what happens. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Alright, I saved 20 meters per second. That's pretty awesome. We're going to adjust that as we get into the lunar sphere of influence. Because I am not about to rely on... Uh, anything really. What we are going to do, however, is... Well, that was dumb. <sighs> we are going to time warp into the sun and get some light on this thing. Boom. Oh! Well, we were. When the cores are shut down at this angle, that's pretty impressive, actually, we actually see a recharge on our batteries from four solar cells that are not doing very much. That is pretty awesome. Sneaky little quick save. There it is. And we're going back to the Space Center because I got something else cool to show you. And here it is. We are about four days away from a launch window to Venus. So I have, well, a while ago actually, I ordered construction of a couple more RA-8Ds. You're pretty familiar with this launcher at this point. We've used it a whole lot. But with a real tiny light cargo like this Ranger Mark I that I have, I'm very confident that this thing is capable of going interplanetary. Uh, the probe is a pretty new design. And uh, we've got a new higher yield dish uh, that I don't know if it's going to give us range out to Venus. This is a flight that I will probably be relying a lot on flight computer to uh, plot out and execute for me. Uh, this is a super light probe and will hopefully be capable of doing a good flyby of Venus and maybe even another flyby to Mars. So uh, that's what we're going to be launching into in our next episode. Uh, until then, uh, thanks for tolerating a completely nighttime flight with me. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Until then, I will see you later.